Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So I'm gonna be talking to you today about something really exciting. Today is the official launch of our new YouTube channel. And this channel is called Being Brasian. And it is a joint channel and it is between The Edit by Deborah and myself and Trey Bell by Tracy. So we found each other through social media and through our love of beauty. So we all follow each other on social media and we all have this common sort of ground that we all love beauty. We felt and we all agreed that there was an underrepresentation in the UK media, within social media, of Asians and ethnic minorities within the beauty space. We decided to create this channel, which was called Being Brasian. Collectively, in this channel that we're going to start up, we're going to be talking about a number of things. We're gonna be talking about what it means to be British born Asians. We're gonna talk about our experiences and what it means to be an Asian born in, in the UK. We're also gonna have monthly topics and discussions. We're going to create an honest dialogue, which will be something that is gonna be open, something that we can share with our viewers and something that we would love you to share with us as well. We're going to try and create awareness for the underrepresented Asian voices we're going to try and add diversity into media. We would really love to invite as well other British Asian voices to join in our discussion and add to the discussion. So that is something that we're really excited about. To launch this channel, we wanted you to get to know us. So we've launched our own hashtag, which is being Brasian tag. And we really hope that that's something that you can use to help follow us and what we're doing. And we really hope that it will give you a chance to get to know us from using that tag. Where were you born and where are your parents from? So I was born in the UK. I was born in Chelsea in West London and I moved to East London when I was about six or seven. My mum and dad are originally from Thailand. My dad is actually half Chinese, but I'm three quarters Thai and a quarter Chinese. My mum is from a place in Thailand called Hua Hin, and my dad is originally from a place called Nakhon Sitamarat, but then he moved to Bangkok when he was young. So our family is mainly based in Bangkok now. We still have family in Nakhon Sitamarat, but we generally visit and we go to Hua Hin and Bangkok. So what three words best describe yourself? So I'd say the best three words to describe myself is I am a perfectionist, I am very friendly, and I am conscientious. I think those best describe me. What made you become a beauty content creator? So a few years ago, I decided to do a makeup course and that is what got me into sort of makeup and beauty. I've always had a love of beauty. I think that comes from my mum. She has very good taste in clothes, in fashion, in makeup. And so I grew up with that around me. So I always had sort of an appreciation of beauty. So when I decided to do my makeup course, it really taught me about application techniques, how to do different looks, what it took to do real makeup. So editorial makeup, makeup for bridal. I thought I would use my love of beauty because I've always had a love of beauty to start up a YouTube channel where I actually filmed a few videos around last year and there were just a few videos and I didn't really follow up with regular content. It was only until lockdown happened which was at the beginning of March that I had a lot of time on my hands so I decided to concentrate on it full time and what I noticed as well was that whenever I looked on YouTube I found that there was a lack of sort of people that looked like me. There wasn't a lot of women that were my age and that had my skin tone that were reviewing products. I thought to myself it would be wonderful to create a channel that would basically sort of show how much I love beauty but also help other women who are of a similar skin tone to myself or of a similar age group and make them feel like beautiful and make them feel that my channel would kind of help women to feel better about themselves. I wanted the everyday woman to be able to look at my channel and to feel that they could use the tips and to buy products that they could use every day so that was really why I created the channel to represent women of a certain age of my age but also to show other women who have my skin tone that they could wear products and they would look really nice on their skin and just to show my love of beauty really. If you're on a desert island what are your top three can't live without beauty products? 
I would take most definitely a moisturizer. My favorite brand who I originally started sort of moisturizing with was La Mer. So I would take a La Mer moisturizer in their original formula. And I would also take a lipstick. And the reason why I would take a lipstick is that it's a twofold thing. You can use lipstick as not only lipstick, but you can use it on your cheeks as well. So it would be like a double up. So it would make me feel good about myself. I would also take a mascara because I think mascara really opens your eyes and the brand that I would probably take for mascara would probably be Lancome Hypnos, the original, because it's won so many awards. And yeah, those are the three items that I would take. What's your Eastern versus Western horoscope? Um, some of you might have guessed based on how I describe myself, but my Western horoscope is a Virgo. I have been told that Virgos are perfectionists and they worry a lot. Yeah, so I'm definitely a typical Virgo. I'm very organised, like I know where everything is, even if it's messy. I would say I'm, I'm definitely a typical Virgo. My Eastern horoscope is the year of the horse. So I'm the earth horse. The horse is very free spirited and doesn't like to be tied down. And yeah, I think I definitely sort of fit that criteria as well. So I always think I'm a, a cross between those two Eastern and Western horoscopes. So yeah, those are my, those are my horoscopes. What three things are your country famous for? Thailand is famous for its beautiful scenery and beaches, so tourism. As you know, we've been in a lot of movies. I think we were in the beach, and if you watch a lot of movies, you'll see sort of the scenery and how stunning Thailand is. We're also known for our food. Thai food is amazing. It is healthy. There are a lot of ingredients that go into it. It's just so aromatic and tasty. I'm very lucky because my mum is a Thai chef, so I get to eat Thai food all the time when she's around. But I love Thai Thai food and Thai food is like one of my favorite foods and then the third thing that we're known for is the people so Thai people are known for, for being friendly and smiley and welcoming every time I speak to someone who says they've been to Thailand or they've met a Thai person they'll always say to me Thai people are so friendly and I'm so pleased that is something that we are associated with what is your favorite Asian dish from a country country okay so this leads on to my love of Thai food my favorite Asian Thai dish has to be Tom Yam Gung. <laughs> so Tom Yam Gung is basically like a broth, a Thai broth. It is a sort of sweet and sour broth with chili in it. For a Tom Yam Gung, you need these essential ingredients, which is kaffir lime leaves, prawns, lemongrass, galanko, chilies, and a broth. So the broth is made from a chicken stock. And in that, you can also put some fish sauce in, some lemon juice. And if you want to thicken the broth, you can put in chili oil, or you can put in condensed milk and it is absolutely amazing. The taste is extraordinary, it's aromatic, it's it's healthy so it's not very fattening as well and I just love it. I love it in Thailand when they cook it because they put it in like a silver pot and then when they cook it the flavours just come out of the pot and there's a little sort of heater underneath, a little flame underneath and it's just divine. So Dom Yum Gung is like my favourite Asian Thai dish, hands down. So what is my favourite British dish? So I'd have to say my favourite British dish has to be fish and chips. I think it's because I grew up with fish and chips and I I think it really sort of symbolises Britain and a lot of people who come to the UK always want to try fish and chips when they come here and I think that it, it gives me fond memories of growing up because I remember when we moved into our first, our first house that I remember, I remember when I was little my dad bought fish and chips and we sat down eating fish and chips in the living room when it was empty and there was no furniture and I guess fish and chips gives me memories of childhood. I would have to say fish and chips is my favourite British dish, 100%. You can only pick one for the rest of your life, noodle or rice. If there was only one thing I could eat for the rest of my life, and I had to choose between rice or noodle. It's a really difficult one. And a part of me wants to stay on the fence because it really depends on my mood. So sometimes if I've had a lot of rice, I like noodles. If I had a lot of noodles, I like rice. So it's dependent on my mood. But if you had to like, oh, like kind of go, which one are you gonna pick? I would probably go with rice because rice is like a staple of Thai food and Thai people can't be without rice. So I have to say rice. If you had to put me over a barrel, it would be rice. Tell us a proverb from your heritage to live by. What does it mean? 
Well, the Thai language has a lot of different proverbs. I found one that particularly resonates with me, and that is Pa Ki Liu Ha Tong. And what that means is don't judge a book by its cover. I love the way that it translates into English and has just the same amount of meaning. And I totally believe that and stand by that, that you should never judge a book by its cover. People or things aren't always what they appear to be. And sometimes if you look beyond that, you can find something beautiful and wonderful. Pa Ki Liu Ha Tong is a really cool Thai proverb and one that I definitely would swear by. Say something in your language. Show. So I am going to tell you how to say wish us luck with the show in Thai and it's Ka Hei Chok Di Gap Gan Sadang and that is good luck with the show. <laughs> what is your favourite karaoke song? I don't actually do karaoke, but if I had to pick a karaoke song, it would probably be one by Mariah Carey because I have loved her for many, many years. And if a Mariah Carey song came on, I would be the first up there to sing it. If I had to pick one song of hers, it would probably be Hero because it's the one I sing and people always know that it's like the one song that I sing of hers. And I just love that song so much and it has so much meaning. So I'd probably pick that song. What's a fun fact no one knows about you? One thing that people don't know about me is I'm a really good singer. Sounds weird saying this, but I started off singing when I was really young. So when I was really small, I really wanted to be a singer. I remember being around the age of like three or five and someone saying to me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I remember saying, I really want to be a singer. I fulfilled part of that dream. So a fun fact about me is I used to be a singer. I had a record deal and I also was in a girl group. They're all linked together because it's all to do with my singing career. And I gave that up because, well, work took over, just everyday things took over. So one of my dreams is to potentially start a little YouTube channel with me singing and that would be a dream. So thank you very much. I really hope you enjoyed the video. So we would love to get to know you and hear from your views and what you think about this channel. If you want to take part, then please make sure to tag Being Brage and Tag. Alternatively, if you want to contact us via email, then we do also have an email address. That email is beingbrasian at gmail.com. We also hope you can support us on all the various social media channels. So we will be on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. So please, please follow us and tag us and share us amongst all your friends and family and let's create a conversation. If you do want to follow us on those channels, we can be found at addr.bio forward slash being Brasian. If you could please share this with everyone you know that you think would be interested in this channel, then please share it. And we look forward to welcoming you on our first chat on being Brasian. Mm -hmm.